So now in this video we're going to look at a bright light level indicator circuit and alarm actually using an active buzzer. So to begin with I set this with the light dependent resistor because the active buzzer is really annoying. But there you can see when I get bright light on the light dependent resistor we get the red LED to light up. So all we have to do is swap the red LED for an active buzzer. Of course the LED needs a protective resistor. The active buzzer we can just connect to the power supply and the transistor is a switch to turn it on and off. So we're going to go up to the collector for the negative side and then the uh, positive side. We're going up to that jumper up there that goes to the positive terminal right there. Now what we're going to do is uh, zoom back a little bit. As I said before the buzzer is really loud and uh, I'm just going to start getting a little light and uh, there you can see it's really loud so I'm going to cover it up and there we have our buzz. Now another thing we're going to do is I suspected I didn't give enough current in an earlier video we needed more than uh, 0 0.03 amps right there 30 milliamps for the LED and I didn't check the buzzer yet but if we see uh, CC, I think it's over there, next to that we know that we didn't set the current high enough. So it looks like we set the current high enough. For this complete circuit, we need less than 40 milliamps of current. And uh, so we are good with the power supply right there. So in any case, we'll just zoom in and uh, look at the schematic really quick. We have the transistor here. Should be able to see how it was wired uh, pretty easily. But uh, we're looking at the flat side left is the emitter, right there, in the middle is the base, and then the right is the collector. That's the way it goes right there. So I'll plug that back in right there. And when I first uh, set this up, I just grabbed a 220 ohm resistor because we need at least 0.6 volts to the base and emitter uh, difference there to get the transistor to start conducting. So we need a low voltage we're going to need a low value resistor on the negative side. So there's a lot more resistance with the light dependent resistor until you get a really bright light on it. And that pulls the voltage up. We need to limit current because we can get the resistance really low with the light dependent resistor. But in case about 0.6 volts, a little bit of current goes from base to emitter. That lets a lot of current flow from collector to emitter. And as we saw, we don't need a ton of current for the active buzzer to get it buzzing. So in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.